My name is Axicus, your casual gaming dad, checking in live tonight. And we're going to be playing some Last Epoch. We're going to be blasting on, uh, I think I have a level 89 Torment Warlock on the go here. And uh, I'm fresh off my official review of Last Epoch, so thank you all for your support on that video. That was a blast making that video, and I appreciate everyone watching and all the new subs that came in from that video. Um, I'm going to be working on two things tonight in Last Epoch. Number one, we're going to do five runs of a dungeon, the uh, Soulfire Bastion dungeon. I am looking for the Immolator's Oblation Belt. And from there, we're going to be going into um, an empowered ending of the storm monolith where I hope to get Malin's Hubris Gloves. Together, those two items are a huge boost to the Torment Warlock DPS, and I'm still trying to hunt those down. I plan to chat about a few topics while we're playing along. I managed to play quite a bit of the Diablo 4 PTR, so I want to give you my thoughts on that and what I'm looking forward to in terms of Season 4. You get my age, you play at this duration and frequency. Uh, you gotta warm up. You gotta warm up before you dig in for three hours. So let's go. I'm gonna teach you all a little stretch for you gamers. Just want to make it very clear. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional anyway. Uh, listen to your body. Stretches shouldn't be painful at all. They should have some mild discomfort to stretch it out, but no pain. So know your body and listen to it well. I'm not liable for anything that happens as a result of stretches that I'm uh, giving some advice about. All you do, and I'll, I'll sit off to the side here and start with my left arm. I like to start with a bent elbow, and then I'm gonna bend my wrist down, and then we're just gonna extend that out straight. So I'm gently pulling back my wrist towards me while straightening out my left arm here. And the key to this one, the key to this one, guys, is to hold that for 30 seconds. It's a long stretch, and you're gonna feel it. And we're ready to rock. Crack open the monster. This shit is liquid gold right now in Canada. Looking for the belt, Immolator's Oblation. It only drops from this boss. There are already a capital letters drop here. Ooh, a double tier six crit health. Wow, that if I don't find the actual gloves I'm looking for tonight, those might actually be a nice upgrade. Sick. And a capital locks ring. Wow, guys, what a great start. There we go, I think we got this bugger. Got a little prophecy action going on there too. Unfortunately, it was the ring that dropped. Oh my god. Gosh, is this dungeon known for these double tier six drops? There we go. Come on, belt. Come on, belt. No, it's a ring again. Oh my gosh, look at this loot that's dropping, guys. I have an incredibly strict filter going on now. Always shout out to Rax for the loot filter. Um, but I've got it very strict right now for an endgame Torment Warlock build and this all caps red has a tier 6 hybrid health roll. Okay, this is what it all comes down to. Level 100 Fire Lich Cremorus. We've got to play this perfect. He breathes on us once with the wrong ability. We're goners. Ah, oh, get him! Oh, just got him. Damn, it was a ring again. Well, there go my chances at Immolator's Oblation. 
for the night. So the reason we're going with this monolith is it has this exclusive echo rewards that are gloves, and that just increases the chances that we'll find what we're looking for. Anyways, hope you're all doing all right. Hope you had a good day. Hope you're having a good evening. Hoping you're all getting to find some solace in a game amidst the chaos of everyday life. God damn, capital letter loot drops like crazy. Damn, another all caps red piece of loot there. Yeah, looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Ooh, there's a belt with a tier seven necrotic resistance. Wow, there it is. The gloves did drop from that unique gloves node. Wow, and it's got two LP. Woo! Well, that was nice. Okay. Here we go. Get ready to clip this. Legendary craft. Two LP gloves. All right. So necrotic resistance plus anything else that's what we're hoping for here everybody say your prayers do a little dance visualize these gloves with necrotic resistance circle my mouse around it and visualize when I hover over that these are gonna have necrotic resistance. No, of course they don't. Of course they freaking don't. I had the chance to play the PTR about 30 hours this week. I, I played a summoner, necro, minions are back on the menu, baby. Um, Helltides are amazing. We have Last Epoch to thank for their new itemization and crafting system. That's, that's gonna give a lot more feel to whatever the end game is. Veiled crystals are definitely gonna be a problem unless they do some tuning before season four. So that wasn't really an enjoyable aspect. I hope they make some improvements there. The Codex of Power is a huge improvement. All said, enough kind of Diablo 4 talk for now. It all comes down to what the season four patch notes say. My experience on the PTR was very, very promising. So keep your eyes peeled for season four of Diablo 4. Both, oh man, really? Oh shit, wrong buttons. Oh man, ouch. This is casual gaming dad at its best right here. Uh, can't talk and play at the same time. Oh, I pressed it. Oh, that really hurts. Well, we witnessed a lot of deaths tonight, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we've just been dying all night here as a casual gaming dad. And that's where this next round of dad vice comes in. This dad vice is respawning dad edition. In games, we die, we respawn. But in fatherhood, in manhood, every morning, guys, is a chance to respawn. So I recently had, I had a horrible day. It started with my wife waking me up and just like laying a bunch of worries on me that she had been thinking about at night. And I mean, I had my eyes open for like minus one millisecond as I started to hear like what was on her mind and I'm not, I'm not a morning person to begin with and it just that wasn't a great start to my day and for whatever reason on that particular day I just never got over it I never as much as I was telling myself to choose my attitude and turn the corner I 
just couldn't get out of the rut. Wasn't proud of myself at all for the way I felt that day and the fact that I couldn't turn it around. But much like in games, when we die, we get to respawn. The next day was an opportunity for me to respawn. And I did. The next day I woke up, didn't necessarily do anything different, but the difference was black and white. I d decided basically to be turbo dad that day to make it up to everyone in the household who had to experience my mood the day before. So let's all just remember that every day is a chance to respawn and be better and do better than the day before. All right, that was uh, almost a three hour grind for me, which is a casual gaming dad. I'm now gonna need to do a couple stretches. It's been super fun hanging out. So we'll catch y'all around in whichever game is hot on the streets right now. But thanks again for tuning in. I'm Axicus, the casual gaming dad, and we will see you all around.